Vectors in 3 space, R3, division of line segment. Let A with coordinate points A1, A2, A3 and B with coordinate points B1, B2, B3 be points in 3 space with position vector A and B respectively. The midpoint of the line segment AB has the position vector A plus B by 2 and the coordinate points are a1 plus b1 divided by 2, a2 plus b2 divided by 2, and a3 plus b3 divided by 2. So let's prove this. So let's have a line segment AB. So let's say this is my line segment AB. And uh, let's say the point P is right in the middle. And let's say this is the point P. Now, so we have A here, B and point P. Now to prove this let us consider that somewhere we have origin O. Now with origin let's connect these points. So if I connect these points with the origin I get the position vector. So we get position vector OA and that becomes position vector OP and this becomes position vector OB. Now we have taken this point P so that it divides the line segment exactly into two halves. So it's a midpoint. So that is how we have selected OP, the point P. Now we need to find the coordinates of point P. That means if we find the position vector OP, then we get the coordinates also, correct? So that is the kind of approach which we are going to adopt here. Now if you see this, we know that AP is equals to PB, right? So we can write AP because P is the midpoint, AP is equals to PB, right? Let's consider the vector in this direction is equals to PB. Now what is AP? AP is OP minus OA, correct? So we can write AP as OP minus OA. Similarly, what is PB? PB will be OB minus OP. And now we can reorganize it, bringing OP to the left side. So we get OP plus OP is equal to OB plus OA. Now OP plus OP is 2 times OP. And OB plus OA or OA plus OB is AB, right? So, so we, so OP plus OP is 2 times OP and we'll reorganize this. O, OB is the vector B and OA is the vector A, the position vector A, right? So we'll write OA first and we'll write this is A vector A and this is our position vector B, right? OA is position vector A, this represents position vector A and OB represents position vector B. And if OP represents position vector P, then we can say position vector P is equals to vector A plus vector B divided by 2, right? So that is how we get this, right? And obviously, if the position vector is A plus B divided by 2, then the coordinates will be as given here, right? So, we prove that the middle point of AB has a position vector which is A plus B by 2. And its coordinates will be average of the two, right? That is A1 plus B1 divided by 2, A2 plus B2 divided by 2, a3 plus b3 divided by 2, right? So that is how we are going to get the result. So it's a very good application and we can always find the coordinates of a point which divides in equal halves, right? So, and now in the next video, we will see if we choose a point which divides not in equal halves, but let's say in the ratio of m is to n, then what should be the coordinates of that point, right? We will see in the next video. Thanks and all the best.